The search and rescue of five missing Canadian Forces members off the coast of Greece has come to a tragic end. Those members are now presumed dead after their helicopter crashed into the sea Wednesday. The body of the sixth person on board was recovered shortly after the chopper went down. It's now being termed a recovery operation. Captain Kevin Hagen was one of the six people on board. He was a pilot originally from Nanaimo, BC. His brother is Kyle Hagen. Kyle joins us now from Victoria. Hi, Kyle. Thanks very much for making time for us, and um, I'm so sorry about your brother. Thank you. Uh, tell me a bit about him. What, what do you want Canadians to know about Kevin? Uh, yeah, thank you for the opportunity. Um, Kevin was, uh, he was a perfect brother uh, for Christy and, and for me, um, when, when times were good, he was, he was, he had a great laugh, a, a really happy laugh that would fill a room and, um, and a, a smile that would, would, would spread as well. And, um, when times weren't good, uh, for Christy or for me or for, for anybody in the family, he was, he was always there every time and, uh, un unconditionally compassionate and loving not judgmental. He was just there to listen and and to be a good brother. And and uh, um, he shared a really close relationship with everybody in our family. He was very good at keeping in touch and being in our lives, even when he was always away. On top of that, he was he was a dog person, um, a nature person. Um, he loved music. Um, he loved. He loved his country and he loved the people that he served with and, and he believed in our military and, and what we do. He served our country uh, so well. What, what can you tell us about what drew him to the armed forces and his career there? I guess, I guess it probably started uh, in Air Cadets um, here in, in Victoria. He was a, a very active and loved community uh, member and, um, and, uh, he was he was part of the band and, and part of the the different aspects. He um, ended up flying planes uh, with the Air Cadets um, and uh, uh, really uh, just in general, Kevin um, was uh, was a, a good example of of what the military tries to instill people. Uh, he was he was instilling that in us uh, when we were growing up together long before the military was. Um, he was a very dutiful kid and uh and he was a good fit for for the military community and how long had he be, had he been deployed on this mission since january was he among the the soldiers who were sent out in january yeah he was there for the, the entire uh deployment and and did you had you had much um communication with him during the deployment and how was he finding it so far yeah no we uh we talked regularly um as early as uh, as a, as early as the day, uh, uh, the 29th there. And, um, um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a hard deployment and, and with COVID and everything, it's been very challenging for those boys and girls. And, um, but he's, he's a patient, patient man and, and responsible and, and he's kept his, his morale fairly high despite the challenges. Um, and he, he kept in touch with Christy and, and mom and, and dad and I, and, um, yeah, I mean, it, it, it's hard for those guys being on that boat, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Um, how's your, how's the rest of your family doing? Your, your mom and your dad and uh, your sister and your brother. I'm one of three. I, I can only imagine uh, how tough this is for you guys. Yeah, it's tough. I'd, what can you say? I'd, how, um, sorry, I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, I, there's, they say that they, they, words can't express, and, and they, that's right. I guess for, for, for me, I, I really wanted to talk to you because I wanted, um, I want to make sure that this is something that Canadians uh, know about, that your brother and, and the other people who lost their lives serving our country are remembered for who they were and, and what they contributed. Um, what, what do you think is most important for people watching right now to know or to remember about your brother? What will you really remember about your brother? Just that he was, he was a loving, compassionate man that he wanted the best for all of us. Um, he knew that 
he knew that what our military does is important for Canadians um, and important for for all of our allies all over the world. He he knew that and he taught us that, and um, he also knew that he was doing a very dangerous job, a job that doesn't have a lot of precedent, doesn't have a lot of user manuals written about what we do with our helicopters, and and we are forging the way in a lot of ways. He knew that that was hard and challenging, uh, and that it needed to be done. And um, he, he was he was brave enough to do it. For well, thank you very much, Kyle, for uh, for sharing those memories of him, uh, of Kevin during such a during such a really difficult time. I really want to offer you my sincere condolences uh, to you and your entire family. Thank you, Vashi. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.